My name is Marisol. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought I was being friendly. Friendly? Hello, uh, Marisol. I'm Pete. It's nice to see a new face around here. You keep track of everyone who comes in? I'm good with faces. I never can seem to remember names. Forgive me if I forget yours. It's no problem at all. I'm guessing you're not from around here. So, where are you from? Upstate. And what brings you out tonight? Well, I'm supposed to meet someone here, but... Is it business or pleasure? Business. And, uh, what business do you do? Computers. You're here for a meeting about computers. Maybe. <laughs> so what, you build them or something? No, uh, I... Get information, I consolidate databases, receive files, reprogram security systems. Nothing you'd be interested in, I'm sure. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. I find it all quite fascinating. Right. So you tell me, what business do you do? Well, I guess that's up to you. Listen, I'm supposed to meet someone here. I appreciate the uh, offer, but it's really important. How do you know they're even coming? What do you mean? I mean, you said they were already late. How do you know they'll even be here? I know they'll be here because they said they'd be here. Trust me, these aren't the kind of guys to schedule a meeting and not show up for it. Well, what do they look like? I've been here all night. Maybe they've come in. I don't know what they look like. We've only talked indirectly. Well, there you are. They've probably already left. So, why don't you come with me and we'll take all this business off your mind. You know what? You're right. I should be going. If they've already left, then I need to contact them and... Listen, your business is my business. I can take a lot off your mind if you let me. Think about it. If you're interested, you know where to find me. Don't 
tell anybody I'm doing this for you, okay? Come down to the desk tomorrow and I'll get you a new key, okay? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Is this Madame Pompadour's? I, uh, have this coin.
L'histoire de Madame Pompadour est un conte de grande renommée. On a entendu parler de sa sagesse et de sa beauté depuis des générations. Mais une histoire fut laissée de côté. L'histoire d'un jeune homme qui osa prendre le nom de son roi. Madame Pompadour était la maîtresse officielle du roi Louis XV. Le roi la consultait toujours avant de prendre d'importantes décisions. Un jour, un soldat ramena un homme enchaîné au tribunal. « Qui est cet homme ?» demanda le roi. « Il traversa la France vêtu d'apparats royaux, commettant des crimes de haute trahison en votre nom, votre majesté, » dit le soldat. Ceci troubla le roi qui répondit. « Ceci est en effet une chose terrible, un crime qui ne restera pas impuni. « Mais quelle est la punition la plus appropriée ?» Madame Pompadour, qui avait silencieusement écouté la conversation, répondit. « Votre Majesté, si les crimes de cet homme doivent véritablement être punis, il doit donc être exposé devant toute la France. » Après cette suggestion, le roi ordonna que le cachet royal soit brûlé sur son front, et l'homme fut mis à nu de ville en ville à travers toute la France. L'homme avait volé la réputation du roi, et celui-ci l'avait rendu infâme. Madame Pompadour est aux yeux de tous morte et enterrée. Mais la mort est simplement le miroir de la vie. Car comme lorsque la mer rencontre le soleil, qui peut dire si c'est un début ou une fin Maintenant, vous pouvez vous demander, mais comment sais-tu qu'elle est toujours en vie Eh bien, je suis la mort. Et elle ne cessait pas ici avec moi. Elle s'assit au-delà de ces quatre murs en attente de passer le jugement sur son prochain visiteur. Marisol? What are you doing here? Wait, do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, my name is Pete. We met last night. Pete who? Pete Madler. <laughs> You're not Pete Madler. <laughs>
hello. Can I help you with something? What is your name? Why should I tell you? What is your name? Pete. Pete Madler. What is your name? My name is Pete Madler. No. What is your name? Robert. Robert Lemery. I'm glad to hear that, Robert. Now tell me about Pete Madler. Who are you? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't... I didn't mean for this to happen. But it did happen. When you take something that doesn't belong to you, when you take someone else's name, there are consequences. Even if you don't see them, there are always consequences. Look, I didn't want his name. I didn't want his life. It just got out of control. Please don't hurt me. Nothing I could do to you would compare to the pain you've caused others. Please leave me alone. I can make it better again. I can give it back. You can't give it back, Robert. You've left your wretched stain on too many people. Please, God, I'm sorry. Will she lead me to my throne? Will she talk me in a 